Cameron, the Pirates are off on their 2023 women's soccer season. Uh, before we talk about any results on the field, let's go back a little bit and talk about training camp. And you had to bring in a whole <laughs> bunch of new players because you graduated a whole bunch of players next year. How do yeah. you navigate uh, meshing the returnees with the newcomers? Yeah, um, it's been a really good process. In the end, this is what we came for, the fall season. And we know in college sports, you got to wait a long time for your championship season to come back around. So uh, everyone is excited. Uh, we got off to a great start. Yeah, 12 players graduated from the program last year. 11 players joined, uh, six freshmen and five transfers. Our program is really special, the people in it, for how we welcome others in, for how we create team chemistry, camaraderie, how we have a genuine, already an authentic family feel. So that went really well. Uh, and then that gelling starts to go from off the field to on the field. And yeah, although um, we suffered a tough injury in Talia Miyama, uh, who is uh, both on and off the field an important person, um, yeah, the team is in, a, is in a good place this way as we have gone now through training camp and through our first games, competitive matches, the spirit is right, the mentality is right, and so now we look forward to, yeah, what's to come. This is your second season as head coach. What's different this fall than last fall? I think it's nice first, we, like I told us last year, you only get to start something once, you know, and you have to do it well. So it's nice maybe not to be starting on a blank slate, although there's plenty that we have to make sure we confirm, uh, uh, reapply. It's not necessarily a pick up where you left off. You have to get back to where you left off. We did that really well. So as we have 18 returners now versus preparing 30 players and a new coach last year, uh, I think we, we are a lot quicker uh, to where, where we want to be. I've been using kind of this analogy of a, of a chart or a graph, like we're growing like this in the first part of the season. And eventually we reach somewhere where we don't plateau, but uh, a more peak part of our performance, and then we want to sustain some growth. So I think we're a little bit quicker uh, along that chart as we come into conference play here now, and, and now we get to go try and prove it. <laughs> Opening weekend, uh, a little bit of a struggle to uh, find the back of the net mm. for us, but uh, defensively, uh, much improved over the same point previous year. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then this past weekend, uh, able to find the net three times. Yeah. Uh, gave up three, so ended up with mm -hmm. two draws. But what did you see in terms of improvement from the first weekend of regular season to the second weekend of regular season? Yeah, definitely. I, I think the first one was to be expected, where we kind of relied on our raw talent or ability because we didn't train a lot in the attacking third. Uh, both on the defensive side of the ball and the attacking side. So although we got into good places, uh, we could have been maybe more efficient with our final passes. We could have been more efficient with how we took our strikes and our finishes. So, yeah, we went in that first weekend uh, disappointed that we didn't get more from our outcomes and we had good performances. Because if you look at our defensive third and the middle third for the early part of the year, we were good. Uh, if we're saying that, you know, if we had that same performance in October, we would say, okay, we need to be improving on that because that's, like I was just saying, about our growth. We want to be at a different place. So the first weekend was solid, you know, it was what we wanted, two good matches. Uh, we just didn't get the outcomes that we felt. We probably earned, but we needed to take those chances better. Here in weekend two, uh, we took uh, our chances well. We probably could have scored six goals, to be fair. Like, we're not going to become our complete finishing product in one week when, my, when now I emphasize the attacking third as we head into what was this last weekend of matches. So uh, we scored three goals from probably six good chances that we should score. That's pretty good. Uh, and if we keep building on that and we have our ratio even higher, four, five, six goals out of those six high-quality chances, and now we're like who we want to be, and we, we can probably get more than draws out of good performances. No, I'll keep on that track. This weekend, going to open Northwest Conference play. Uh, doesn't get much more challenging uh, for us, uh, opening at Pacific Lutheran and Puget Sound, the two teams that have yeah. been at the top of the table yeah. for this conference for the last decade. Yeah. Uh, talk about the opportunity. Talk about uh, what's in front this weekend, and what do we know about these teams yeah. uh, that will make them challenges for yeah. us? 
I love it. And uh, what's cool is the players are eager too, you know. You can walk into the, I think every year we know in, in the soccer contest, it's mostly the Tacoma schools that's your, that's your big weekend. And so we know what's to come and we love to like step into that challenge. It's the, the games that maybe we're most eager for. And uh, so the team certainly is. And now we arrive at a place where, yeah, where we're prepared. Um, PLU, historically going to be built on how they defend really well and then break out in that defending. Uh, not necessarily a counter-attacking team, but they don't need a lot of passes to get themselves to goal. So high level of focus in that way um, against good athletes uh, who, who like to run and like to shoot. So uh, we'll aim to dominate the ball, limit their chances, and be ready to be in good position so that their counter-attacks are are less. UPS, similarly, really good in defense. Uh, they have a tight block um, and it can be tough to get inside of that block for the way that we play. So that's kind of where the game goes, is can we get inside in order to create chances? And then uh, they're a more, I would say, like free-flowing and attacking team. Uh, they'll shoot from anywhere, so we have to be aware of this. But, uh, but yeah, as we step into those two games, eager for them. Uh, ready for them for where we're at. Uh, our preseason schedule has prepared as well for conference play. If I compare it to last year, more competitive. If I compare our, our spirit to last year, more consistently competitive. Uh, last year we relied a lot on a few personalities. This year I think we have a collective and so we'll, we'll need that. When you play the big matches you have to be ready for every single moment and uh, so we will strive this week to prepare for every single moment and, and take our chances when we get them.